Hey everyone, Brad and back with After Hour Cigars. Um, just moved into a new house. Uh, things have been kind of hectic lately, but it's time for me to get back on YouTube and start reviewing cigars again. Um, tonight I have a Brick House Maduro Toro. Not really sure if y'all can see that too great. Try to get the camera to focus a little bit here. Anyway, Brick House Maduro. Um, the ring gauge is a 60 on this. It's six and a quarter inches long. Um, so, let's see. It don't really have much of a smell. That's odd. But Mm, kind of a chocolatey mixed with maybe a hazelnut smell before the light. I know my lighter ain't running out. So I finally got it lit. Um, apparently my lighter is going out, unfortunately. But I haven't taken a drag off of it yet. So. Here we go. First impression. Hmm. That is a really good, just straight tobacco. I don't really get any other real flavors off of it. Um, it's very, very mellow to be a Maduro. It's very smooth. <clears throat> all in all, just, wow, I'm very impressed. Mm. That is really good. Not much of an aftertaste either. That's one thing I will say I'm not too crazy about with this one. It doesn't really leave hardly any aftertaste at all. It, God, that's good. Mm. This is actually very good. It's even smooth on the inhale, and that's that's rare with these premium cigars. They don't have anything in them like cigarettes and things of that nature to cut the <clears throat> to cut the bite down on the cigar and anybody that smoked just regular uh, not really aged tobacco knows that it's pretty stout. It has a good little burn to it and it's, it's irritating. And this has absolutely none of that. It's extremely smooth. It's very, very flavorful except for no aftertaste. Not much smoke production on the draw, though. That's one thing I am going to complain about. Very, very light sm uh, smoke production on the draw. That was a little better, but you kind of have to work for the smoke on it, and I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of that. 
All right, I've gotten about a quarter of the way down it, as you can see, and I will say the flavor has gotten quite a bit stronger. Um, a little bit, maybe more nutty. I don't know. If, <clears throat> I've had this cigar for a while, and it's just been kind of sitting there. So that may have something to do with it. Like it's just been sitting in my humidor aging for I don't know, probably three weeks now. But I do want to call out the perfect color of the ash. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it's it's nice. The ash retention is really well. I can't knock it off. Um, so anybody that knows anything about cigars knows that that means really well uh, a really well constructed cigar. <clears throat> um. Excellent flavor for the people that just like mostly straight tobacco with just maybe a very mild hint of like a nutty undertone. Still not much uh, smoke production, unfortunately, but good. The flavor is much stronger now than it was. Still incredibly smooth on the inhale. Um, and I know you're not really supposed to inhale these. It's all for the flavor and everything. But I like to inhale every now and then just to kind of get that little bit of extra flavor. Um, I haven't tried a retro hell that Wow a little bit of a burn but surprisingly smooth on the retro hell. I'm actually impressed Not gonna lie it burns a little bit but smoother on the retro hell than the majority of uh, cigars that I've tried on this channel. So definitely no complaints on that. Still just incredible ash retention. Um, it actually looks a little bit brighter on camera than it actually is. There's there's some black streaks in it, like that right there. Um, just really good construction though. JC Newman, I've got to give it to y'all. Y'all make a pretty, pretty damn good cigar. Um, maybe, I think there's kind of a, like, chocolatey and nutty kind of undertone coming through a little bit but still the majority of the taste is still just predominantly just natural tobacco really all in all it's been a good experience so far I'm getting fairly close to about halfway and And just so y'all know, yes, I am inside my house and there's a window right here that I'm blowing the smoke out of because I really don't want the smell to stick in my room. <clears throat> I know it's going to have a little bit of smell, but the vast majority of it's been going out the window right here beside me and I'll be able to get rid of, you know, what little bits left over fairly easily. Light a couple of candles. Put some baking soda around. Should be all right. Yeah. I do want to point out that it is kind of getting a little bit warm as I draw on it. But that's probably because I'm having to puff it two, three, maybe four times before I really get any smoke production on it. It's very tightly rolled. Um, I don't know if they do that to just 
kind of make it last longer or what, but either way, the flavor is still there. Um, there is smoke, there is smoke production, but it's just so tightly rolled, it's hard to get to it, so you kind of have to work for it a little bit. Really good on the palate, though. That's a very good flavor. Very smooth. <clears throat> and for this to be a Maduro, that's really mellow. Also, I'm pairing it with a natural light. Gotta say, the, uh, the lightness of the... Uh, the light flavor of the beer pairs really well with the somewhat heavy flavor of the Maduro cigar. Hmm. Gotta say, it's pretty good. All right, so the ash fell off and I noticed a little bit of a tunnel. <clears throat> it's nothing major. It's not going like halfway down into the cigar or nothing, but the tunnel is definitely there. So that is a little bit of an issue on a uh, call out, but at the same time, it's not really affecting the way that the cigar smokes or anything. So I'm definitely not complaining about that. All in all, so far, it's been a great smoking experience. And I did notice that as, when the ash fell off, it <clears throat> started getting a little bit hotter as I draw on it. And also the flavor came out a little bit more after the ash fell off. And it kind of lost oh, the chocolatey and nutty undertones that I was talking about. It That just about completely went away and we're back to just about all natural tobacco. I'm not sure exactly how the ash falling off affected that. But apparently it did, which is kind of odd. I've never seen that in a cigar before. And it's starting to gain a little bit more of kind of a, a spiciness to it. Like, it's actually got a little bit of a bite now. It's definitely a little odd. <clears throat> but just... I'm gonna see if it's still as smooth on the inhale as it was. Still smooth on the inhale. Still really mellow, very, very mellow flavor. Um, just kind of more heavy now and not as nutty or chocolatey, just more. More now, just back to nothing but just straight aged tobacco. <laughs> Alright, so I am at just about the last quarter of the cigar, and the smoke production has increased exponentially. Like, I'm super impressed. I say that, and it does nothing. There we go. Um, one issue is burning super uneven, as you can see. I do not like that at all. 
not sure what's causing it, but it that's what we have. Um, the flavor has changed a lot. It is just about on par with like maybe a. And I, God, I hate to say this. I hate to compare anything to this garbage, but um, if anybody out there has ever smoked any of those little cigars, like the Swisher Sweet Little Cigars or Phillies or something like that, um, that's about where the flavor's at now. Not sure what happened. It is very, very nutty. It is getting really hot. Um, like it is getting hot almost to the point that it's getting hard to hold it. I just can't get over that super uneven burn. That's crazy. I honestly don't think I've ever had a cigar do that. <clears throat> Um, it is not smooth at all anymore. It burns every time I hit it. This, God, I can't even describe it. It's just gotten terrible as I went down. Is it started out as a really good cigar, and just the further I smoked it down, the worse it's gotten. It's just, gosh, it is just not really good at all anymore. Um, it's a very ashy, spicy flavor now. And just super hot smoke production. The cigar itself is getting super hot. Like to the point it's getting hard to hold the smoke in my mouth. Um... The spiciness of it just about overrides almost any flavor that it has. Um, it has gotten very squishy here at the end. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. It feel, It honestly feels like it's just about to fall apart. All in all, just not a good experience here at the end. Um, otherwise, it's been a really enjoyable cigar. Tremendous smoke production here at the end. It's extremely loose now. Um, the color of the mouthpiece, which this is to be expected, but the color of the mouthpiece has or the foot, <clears throat> should I say, has changed. Um, a good bit of tar build up on it. It's fairly wet and kind of sticky. Um, some of the, some of the tobacco out of it actually just stuck to my finger. Honestly, for the first time in my life, I've never wasted this much of a cigar in my entire life. But I'm actually about to throw this out. I'm very disappointed in this one. Just, oh my god. So hot. I do not like it at all. Getting good, good smoke production finally. It's very easy to draw. Super loose draw here at the end.
and it's starting to come unraveled. The wrapper is actually starting to come off. Um, the cap is still fully intact, but it is down where the embers are. It's starting to crack and come unraveled. Don't know how well y'all can see that little bust in the side of it. Um, the beginning of the cigar really had me fooled. It, I was expecting this to be an incredible smoke all the way through, and it just is not. Oh yeah, oh. Definitely not one you want in hell. At the end, that actually just took my breath a little bit. Whew. But the nicotine rush, oh my goodness. That was insane. Yep, definitely throwing this one out. I just cannot do it anymore. And then it's gone. And there you have it. That all, all in all, I'd say that probably gets a C minus at best. That mm, on a one to ten, that's probably a solid four. It started out um, up on lighting the cigar and taking the first couple of draws off of it. And very not good smoke production, um, but flavor and everything else about it really good construction um i'd give it probably a b plus at the very beginning but just as it went on the flavor profile just changed and changed and it just it turned into something completely different it was not good um, very very spicy a lot of bite to the smoke um as you just saw i tried to inhale at the end and it literally took my breath. Just, I cannot get into it. Um, hopefully the next cigar, whatever I decide to do, will be a lot better than that. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Comment on this video. Tell me some stuff you would like to see me try. Um, give me some cigars that you would like to see me review on here. Uh... If I get enough subscribers and followers and everything on here, um, I will start doing some live streams. I will start talking to you guys. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Anyway, this is After Hours Cigars signing out for the night.